Flowering vines form the walls and ceilings of our landscape, whether they're going up a post or across the top of an arbor. The nice thing about flowering vines is they give us that added beauty of a bloom, and there are no blooms more beautiful than passion flower. Passion flower gets its name because the flower parts are seen to represent the passion of Christ. For example, the ten sepals and petals represent the ten apostles, minus Judas and Peter. The five stamens represent the five wounds in the body, the two hands, two feet, and the hole in the side. And the three stigma in the center represent the three nails used to nail Christ to the cross. Well, whatever you see in the flower, it is a beautiful and intricate plant. And the nice thing about passion flower is it is also attractive to the Gulf fritillary butterfly. That's an orange butterfly that's really beautiful. It lays eggs on the plant and its larvae, which are orange and black caterpillars with spikes coming out of them, feed on the foliage. You may want to buy two because they are voracious feeders and they'll remove all the leaves on a plant, but the plant is extremely vigorous and bounces back quite well. There are really a number of different types of passion flowers. There's the lavender types, one variety is called Lavender Lady, and there's a red type that's tropical. Many types are evergreen, some die to the ground as perennials and come back. There's a passion flower for everyone and you ought to try some this year in your garden to add beauty and interest and to bring in the butterflies. With your common sense tip on passion flower, a beautiful intricate bloom that you can get downright passionate about. I'm Skip Richter.